What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 40th jailbreak update video and we have some more good news to talk about. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the brand new iOS 10.3.1 kernel exploit that was just released and what it means for us jailbreakers. An untethered jailbreak in 2017, a place to download all the Yalu IPAs, an update on the jailbreak community as a whole and more. And as usual, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there and also turn on those notifications so you don't miss when something very important gets released or announced you know i do these jailbreak update videos quite frequently and i like to keep you guys in the loop as much as possible so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything all right so let's go and get into this so yes the day has finally come zimperium security researcher adam donenfield has released the ios 10.3.1 kernel exploit that we've been talking about forever here on the channel and his name for this exploit is ziva z-i-v-a now adam released this exploit alongside an extensive blog post where he explains ziva and basically just shows us an analysis on the bugs as well as the code used now he did say on Twitter that this blog post will get more detailed and updated after his talk at the Hack in the Box conference tomorrow. So make sure you check it out now and then also tomorrow after it does get updated. I have a link to that down in the description below. It's definitely something very interesting if you're into security research at all. If you're not, it's still pretty cool to read through it, but you're not really going to get much out of it. Now I know most of you are probably wondering now, what does this exploit mean for an actual public jailbreak release, an actual public jailbreak tool? And also a lot of you are probably asking, don't you need a KPP bypass for a jailbreak? You know, this doesn't have a KPP bypass. Is it possible? possible to get a jailbreak? Let's talk about that. So Adam's exploit doesn't bypass the KPP, but it still does work and still could lead to a potential jailbreak. So that means that we are very close to a public jailbreak for 10.3.1 now, as this exploit you know, gets us more than halfway to that point. Now, of course, I don't wanna make any promises because nothing is guaranteed, but with as active as the community is right now, I'd be extremely surprised if we don't see a 10.3.1 jailbreak coming specifically from Adam's exploit here. Now, Spark Zhang, who is a well-known member in the community and also works for Alibaba, said that this this exploit gets us 66% to a jailbreak. Now he also released a blog post going over the analysis of this exploit, which gives us more insight into the exploit. And I will also leave that down in the description below. If you do want to read through that, you will have to translate it since it is in Chinese. Now, since there is some confusion between this exploit and then Ian Beer from Google Project Zero's exploit for 10.3.2, I thought I'd just clear this up real quick. So Adam's exploit only works up to 10.3.1. So it's not going to work with Ian Beer's 10.3.2 exploit, which is a little bit less powerful. So so these two aren't going to be able to be chained together and work together. So this means that Adam's 10.3.1 exploits either going to have to be chained together with other exploits that he has in the stash, or another security researcher may have some exploits or may be able to work together with him to create some exploits, you know, and, and chain those together to get us a 10.3.1 jailbreak. Now, with that being said, Adam did tell me personally that he could actually create a jailbreak himself using this exploit, but of course he's not going to because he wants to team up with another security researcher to release it because he's employed. He doesn't want to handle all these, you know, support inquiries 24-7. So yeah, over the past few jailbreak update videos, ever since I've been talking about the 10.3.1 exploit from Adam, I brought you guys little exclusive tidbits and details about it that all do still hold true. We just have to sit back and wait and just be patient and see what happens. You know, there's no ETA or anything like that right now, but you guys already know I'm going to be the first to tell you about it if there is. Now, for those of you still on iOS 10.2.1, this exploit also works for it. So if you're still on 10.2.1, you're going to be in on the jailbreak. If a jailbreak does get released for 10.3.1, it's also going to work for 10.2.1, which is great news for those of you who are still still stuck there. As for the devices it works for, it works for all 64-bit devices, including the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Now, as for 32-bit devices, it doesn't work out of the bag for 32-bit devices, but it can be made to work with some adjustments. And then, of course, for those of you who did update to 10.3.2, despite me telling you to stay on 10.3.1 forever, you're pretty much out of luck at this point. Now, something could come for 10.3.2 in the near future using Ian Beer's exploit for 10.3.2, but we just don't know anything right now, and that's a little bit further out, it seems, right now than the 10.3.1 jailbreak. Now we can also expect this jailbreak, if it does in fact get released, to be semi-tethered or semi-untethered, whatever you want to call it. We don't really see any untethers anymore, uh, especially for iOS 10 and above, but you never know, but we're just expecting it to be semi-tethered or semi-untethered, whatever you want to call it. Now speaking of untethered jailbreaks, Timstar, the creator of Future Restore, actually just recently released a Cydia package that allows those who jailbroke on 9.3.4 with the Home Depot jailbreak to have a fully untethered jailbreak all from a simple Cydia package. Now this is amazing to see because I didn't think we'd see another untethered jailbreak in 2017, you know? You know, it's not really a full untethered jailbreak because it wasn't released as an untethered jailbreak, but still, a package
package in Cydia that makes a jailbreak untethered is pretty awesome. Now, of course, this only works for 9.3.4. I don't know if we're going to see this in the future. You know, this could be potentially the future of jailbreaks. You know, we may see jailbreaks released as semi-tethered and then maybe a package in Cydia will make them untethered. This could be something of the future. It's still so early on though that we just don't know at this point. But shout out to Tim Star for creating such an awesome tool. Now, with that being said, don't go bothering Tim Star on Twitter and overwhelming him with questions because he's already been feeling overwhelmed after his recent releases. He said this on Twitter, I never understood why jailbreak and tweak developers quitting the scene, but now after releasing a jailbreak, I do. So many people literally demanding you to do stuff. And I replied here with a positive outlook, but what he said is true. And that's, you know, the main reason Luca Tedesco got out of the game so quickly. Now let's briefly talk about downloading the Yalu and Extra Recipe IPA since Luca Tedesco's website has been down forever. So I've received over a hundred messages on social media asking where to download the Yalu IPA. And you know, I've, I've been uploading it to Google Drive and sending it to people, but I wanted to tell you guys all out there that there are sites that are mirroring these IPAs where you can download them from. I'm gonna have a link down below where you can download Yalu and Extra Recipe, all the IPAs, just like Luca Tedesco's site. So make sure to check that out in the description below if you have been looking for those. Also include a link down below to the 9.3 Jailbreak, the Jailbreak Me site, so you can read Jailbreak if you are on 9.3 through Safari. And finally, a quick word on the Jailbreak community and just how dead it actually is. So just an FYI, we've had more releases over the past two weeks in the jailbreak community than we have over the past six months combined. We have so many members of the community now who are just working so hard, you know, to get us all this stuff for free. You know, they're not getting paid for any of this stuff. They're putting in all these hours and work for us to enjoy, you know, these tools or these jailbreaks or these exploits, whatever it happens to be. They're putting in all this work now and it's just amazing to see. And, you know, I don't think anything about the jailbreak community is dead right now. Now, some of these people include Tim Starr, we have Axiom, we have Adam Donovan, Luca Tedesco, Morpheus, we have KGC, uh, we have Spark Zang, you know, we have so many more. I'm sure there's others out there that I forgot, but those are just the first ones that came to mind. Make sure you follow all of them on Twitter and support what they're doing. So yeah, I think jailbreaking is far from dead at this point, especially with the community thriving right now. You know, a lot of people putting in work, a lot of people researching, a lot of people releasing random things. It's just great to see. Let's just hope that the momentum keeps rolling and that we get this 10.3.1 public jailbreak very soon. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Of course, if you did, make sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more future updates on the 10.3.1 jailbreak and just jailbreaking as a whole. Also, let me know what you think about this exploit. Let me know what version you're on. You know, if you have any questions at all, maybe something I forgot to cover in this video or something you're just wondering in general, make sure to leave a comment down below. And you guys know I respond to all comments. So make sure to leave it down there and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.